Hello boys and girls, it is once again time for some Black Ops 3 action. Bringing you right now a team deathmatch uh, game that I just played. Uh, I'm right now finishing up my gold camo for the M8. I'm on the last thing, which is the uh, this fire attachment and optics thing. After that I'm going to be done with that, probably moving on to the ICR or any one of the other... Uh, uh, assault Rifles actually thinking about it, I might be doing the race rack because I just unlocked that, just got high enough level, so I might be doing that as well. But I really enjoyed this game, even though the uh, the M8 with the silencer on is a complete trash weapon. It is god awful. Uh, what slightly makes up for it is the uh, high caliber that I'm running right now. I just barely had enough uh, attachments to slab on there for uh, for it to be five attachments and an optic uh, so sadly I had to go with the silencer uh, but I mean it kind of worked out in this game uh, you'll be seeing me you'll see me do a lot of uh, area control a lot of people call that camping but I don't feel like it's camping when you're controlling an area moving around in a zone of the map it's fine if you're like this guy sitting up there with his fucking sniper just sitting in one window or the other the entire game I'd, I'd, I'd find that to be campy and bullshitty but if but if you like me and I know this is kinda hypocritical because the way I camp is okay but everybody else is not okay but if you control an area of the map if you figure out alright from from this point to this point in the map I'll, I'll flow back and forth and pick up kills when people try to get through this area I find that to be okay because oh yeah look at this like three full bursts on that kinetic armor if I didn't have the silencer on I'm almost positive I would have killed him I'm almost positive I'm not positive but almost really think I could have gotten him there uh, but yeah I had I had a like so much trouble here in the beginning actually managing to pick up kills because I would get two bursts on them then my teammates would kill him. I would get two bursts on them. Then I would die to them. I would. I was really having a lot of trouble in the beginning here, uh, and as we can see from my score, which is five and four at this point. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where we turn up. This is where we go ham on a biscuit. We 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 take the lady into our arms, and we just go ham on a biscuit. Alright, so whenever you, right now I'm doing the Hive Specialist, because as you know I do, uh, I'm do working on doing every single Specialist to uh, max unlocks or all the, uh, the the camos or whatever they call them. Uh, right now I'm at the Hive because it's one of the higher level ones and I'm going to Prestige soon so I want to hit up one of the higher level ones so that when I roll back on the next Prestige I still have stuff to do in the lower end. Uh, so I'm doing the hive right now. What you want to do with the hive is you want to set up an area. I mean right now I left the area. But you want to set up an area near their spawn. Or, or near where they are gathered. And close them in. You want to set up hives on the walls. On the ground and on choke points. And then you want to cover the other choke points. So that you don't get killed. Because when you die with hive. All the uh, hive clusters despawn. And you're basically it, you basically wasted your entire hive. However, if you set up uh, your hives in all the choke points, and then uh, cover the other areas. Okay, I ran out of uh, shots for the M8, so I switched to the BMP. But anyway, if you set up your hives in the choke points and like close in your enemy, cover your ass in case one of the enemies start try to flank around, then every single one of your hive traps that doesn't get shot, mind you, so place them right. But every single your every single one of your hive traps will get a kill if you place them right and make sure they they're not easily destroyed uh, by shooting. Because a lot of people what they'll do is they'll get the hive, they'll whip it out and then just plow five hive traps out on the ground, and then you can just go around scooping them up with your with your whatever weapon you're running. Now here, I know I'm five points away, so I'm really trying to be careful here. I'm really trying to make sure that I get that Wraith because I just recently switched back down from the GI to running some more uh, consistent score streaks like the UAV Cerberus Wraith. 
I can, I can much more consistently just hit that max score streak and have that shit running while I'm doing my other stuff rather than having, say, uh, UAV, uh, missile, and um, whatchamacallit, and the GI, for example. There's, there's, there's far too big a gap between uh, the middle and the, uh, the high end for me to cover it. But as you can see here, uh, I've set... You just saw that trap uh, spring on that guy. Sadly, my friend killed him. But the way I placed it right outside the door means that he doesn't see it. He cannot kill it when he's coming out. So it's going to proc on him every time. Uh, and, and I do that a lot. I set him in the doors. Uh, the two that you saw me shoot at the same place in the door over there. Uh, they're not great because people can actually see them. But if they come running from inside, they might not have time to react. If they run in from outside, again, they might not have time to react. So it's an okay spot, but rather have it on the door frame, outside or inside the door, uh, is, is a great place to place them. Uh, but anyway, game is coming to an end right here, boys. That was a really, really quick one. Really nice game. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you leave uh, the video a like and comment in the, uh, the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time, have a great day. Alright boys, as usual, I forget to take the end score screen. 26 and 4, 6.5 KD, 6 assists. Uh, thank you for watching once again and have a good day.